like unfortunately it's about nintendo you know there's been rumors for quite some time that there's going to be another model of the nintendo switch and mm -hmm. of course we were all surprised when they announced the nintendo switch Lite because that was right that was not one of the main models that we were focused on nintendo announcing we were focused on them announcing a nintendo switch pro which would have a wider screen well, guess what? Rumors are now uh, going around again that Nintendo is actually going to release another version of the Nintendo Switch with a 7-inch um, uh, Samsung OLED display with 4K support. Ooh. And apparently this model is going to have a larger bezel on it, so obviously making it bigger for people to uh, play in handheld mode. I, I don't know... Uh, and I'll point out actually that this kind of aligns with um, Samsung. They've actually reported that they're working on a seven inch 720 uh, resolution OLED panel um, mm -hmm. that's going to be around June time. So it kind of aligns now with that Nintendo Switch Pro rumors. I want to ask you guys, what do you guys feel about another Nintendo Switch model? Do you think it's needed? And would you guys get this pro model if it is a thing steve and i actually talked about this a little bit when it was announced and we kind of sorry i didn't mean to cut you off caboose but we kind of no, had okay. like like differing opinions i was personally in a pro model i was hoping for a little bit more power um you know maybe uh even if with the screen increase maybe we get up to 1080 or yeah. maybe we just get a better frames because when i think about the future of their titles breath of the wild 2 and sure. uh pokemon legends arceus yeah I, I think that they might get bottlenecked a little bit, to be quite honest, uh, with the experiences they're offering. Uh, but Steve, I'll let you continue on because you had a really good point. Uh, yeah, so two things. like the So I'm, I'm really high on this uh, 4K Ultra HD graphics for when it's docked. I think that's great for the same reasons you kind of talked about being Breath of the Wild 2 and Pokemon Legends. Those are games that just need that, that boost of fidelity. Mm -hmm. Nintendo, in my opinion, doesn't make hardware that they can't work with. So I, if they are in, in fact, making a console that does 4K, I think that's going to be driven to, for premier titles like Breath of the Wild 2 and uh, Pokemon Legends. I'm not, I'm not really concerned about it being still locked to 720 in uh, handheld mode, because at the same time, the Switch has to be this gateway console, and if you're Working with a screen that's seven inches, the difference between 720 and 1080 is non-existent. Yeah. The only thing you're doing is wasting battery, wasting power, and that's only going to drive up the cost of this thing. And before you know it, you're looking at a $500, $600 handheld console right. hybrid. Um, so based on the, the information we have here, I think this is great. I think that this is going to be announced and will probably come out at the same time that Breath of the Wild 2 is scheduled to or Pokemon Legends, which is next March. Um, yeah, for me, I, I I mean, we've talked about the subject a couple of times even before this was uh, I mean, I'm assuming it's been a rumored thing for a while based on yeah. what Camille is saying. So we've talked about this, though, in general for, for a bit where I was saying that I would love uh, a different switch model that was just you know what you know when you you put the the portable version into the base and you can play it on your TV. I yeah. would love a, a switch that's just that, so you can get a little more mm -hmm. power out of it and uh, be able to enjoy some switch games at a higher fidelity or just something in general like that. Um, but it doesn't sound like this Switch Pro is that. It's just yeah. a bigger screen, yeah. um, which still sounds cool. Like I don't mind that. But uh, but at the end of the day, where I find the most enjoyment in playing any of the Switch games is when it's plugged in on my TV. Same here um and so i would love a switch that was dedicated to that that i could get a little more out of um not that like i'm dying to play like super mario odyssey or something at like 4k but like all the freckles and mario's <laughs> yeah well who knows you know maybe that could be something that would look cool um so again i mean this could be interesting i'm intrigued to see what it's going to look like when they do announce it which i'm assuming like it's pretty much all but confirmed at this point um yeah. based on what you're saying camille um and so like I'm, I'm intrigued but it's not something i think i'm going to invest in considering i already have a switch and and that's right. the thing for i'm kind of on board with you caboose as well like i feel like what's the point 
Like yeah. you had the Switch Lite, which I think was a great option to make the Switch affordable for people. Um, yeah. And I was actually shocked at the price difference between the regular Switch and the Switch Lite. Because mm. sometimes when you see these other models that are supposed to be cheaper, it's like, you know, $50 cheaper. It's not sure. it's not a drastic amount. So I was really surprised by that and actually had friends that bought Switches because of how affordable it was. Um, so I get that. Um, but I feel like because the Switch is this hybrid handheld, you know, T- TV dedicated console, mm-hmm. yeah. um, I don't want another Switch model. Uh, you look at the previous versions of Nintendo consoles. So mm. you look at the Wii, it had motion control. You look at the Wii U, it had the LCD screen. You have the Switch, now we have this hybrid. When you look at Nintendo consoles, usually when they come out with a new console, it's going to be something completely different than what they've done before, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And usually, time after time, They have these models in between that are slimmer. They're supposed to be faster. Right. But with the, you know, poor Nintendo games, why people play Nintendo, the graphics don't really change (laughs) when you're playing on these different models. That's why Breath of the Wild was also available on the Wii U. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, And Nintendo's smart because they know how to make their games. So it has character. So you don't necessarily miss the you know you 4k that you may be getting some from other games and i think that's okay i just feel like anytime one of their new consoles come out me being you know in the industry and just wanting the latest model now is like okay do i trade in my old old switch like do i try to sell (laughs) that to like make up money to buy this like i just feel like there's no reason um to really have this pro model because you're right it's not going to make a difference steve when you're playing in handheld mode what the what the screen is in terms of 720 to 1080 it, it's it really isn't it's going to make a difference when you're poor like putting that onto its port for right. your your tv um and seeing that difference in the graphics and i really don't think with nintendo titles you'll see that difference i think that it I think that it'll work. I think that the I so the perform I agree with the performance it won't be that drastic, but I think with the size and that extra inch and a half of real How estate much are you paying is, for it. How much are you paying for it? It's going to be more. Oh, true. But I think that it. that little extra bit of real estate in the handheld with games like, you know, Breath of the Wild 2 and Pokémon Legends plus being able to dock that and get that 4K experience because at the end of the day, too, I look at this as Nintendo's way of saying, hey, we don't have to really do much, but we're still going to compete with this next gen. We're still going to give our fans 4K as an option. Sure. Now, how many games are actually going to take advantage of that and really you know, make use of it? Yeah. I, I don't see many games doing that. But mm-hmm. there are other issues that I, I think Nintendo should address instead of, like you said, making another version. I mean, their online marketplace needs a lot of work. And I get that it is like kind of a, a family friendly and that's hard to do when you connect people in and kind of have that multiplayer facet. But Switch is kind of missing that connectivity. It, it really kind of needs that. Uh, way to branch people together and I think that that by them adding another kind of iteration is just their way of getting more people into their ecosystem Uh, because uh, while this new one is going to be more expensive it's going to push the sales for their standard models and the lights people there's going to be discounts people like you are going to be selling their Nintendo Switch to get the new version and people are going to get it for a discount it's just kind of this consumer consumer thought of pushing the wheel ever further of getting that you know cycle because i personally would rather pick up a used switch from somebody i know for a cheaper price than get a pro for a, an extra inch and a half but there's going to be people who are going to buy it because they want that extra inch and a half in the 4k well i'll hit you up then malik when i'm so <laughs> sounds good <laughs> i'll finally get a switch <laughs> But but it's going to be interesting now then what would the price point be of this Switch Pro to make it so it's not completely outrageous? 
Four hundred? As if honestly, as if Nintendo really cares about their outrageous prices in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> but it'd probably be around that four hundred. I would I would say so. I don't think that they could get away with anything above that. Yeah. I would say four fifty. Okay. That'll be right. well I mean we'll see. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that they could break four ninety. Because see, I think I think they do four hundred because then you do a five hundred bundle or special edition. Yeah, I think that puts them in a good place to like right. have like here it is. It's only four hundred, only four hundred dollars, or just spend that extra hundred and you get this special edition one that's super nice and has that you know yeah, special out. design. Just make yeah. a special design for Breath of the Wild too. I know. Like, <laughs> see, you know got your name on it. it. We're thinking of games that would utilize like four K. Splatoon 2 or Splatoon yeah. 3. Yeah. When you, we saw that demo, looks kind of good. Looks kind of good. good. <laughs> good. Um, so maybe that's one title that could utilize it. Uh, yeah. Because that actually looked really beautiful. I don't think I would even need, because the problem is then, right? If you have 4K frame rate, right? Um, yeah. Breath of the Wild already has frame rate issues. It's one of my favorite games. I love it. But it does have frame rate issues um, mm. that are hard. I think would be hard, harder to hide oh, on no. a 4K. remaster time. <laughs> too soon, too soon. I'm still waiting for the Ocarina of Time remastered. So you know, <laughs> one thing at a time. One thing at a time, and uh, that is it. Actually, for us this week, we took our time. We talked and we walked the walk. Um, <laughs> now. Um, Malik, thank you so much again for joining us as a regular. It was lots of fun. What articles do you have coming up on the website? So I just did a Valheim meme uh, article. I'm going to have some more Valheim content uh, coming out soon. On top of that, I am streaming now. Uh, Twitch.tv slash live W Malik. Uh, I'm going to be playing a lot of Valheim, Valorant, covering uh, kind of the esports side of Valorant. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to write more. Valheim is hard because it's just one of those games where everybody's making guides constantly. So Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe because I haven't tried Valheim yet, I'll give it a go, read one of your articles, watch your stream, yeah, get acquainted definitely. with it, then jump in. Uh, Steve, I know you got new articles coming. What can we expect on the website? Uh, yeah, so I, I recently published a little thing for Minecraft Dungeons. They released their DLC, so just going over that. Obviously, I'm going to have like a more kind of in-depth uh, look at and review of like Call of Duty Warzone's year in review, kind of talk about stuff we went over in this uh, week's episode, but also just expanding on some thoughts as well. And then obviously keeping an eye on the uh, the Hawkeye DLC for Avengers. And yeah, that's about it that I have on my radar right now. But right. you can also follow me on Twitter at SVigbar if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. Yes, follow him because he's always he always got some great thoughts. Um, as well as you can check out both Malik's and Steve's uh, articles on our website, squadstate.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of cool articles there, so be sure to check that out. Caboose, how about yourself? Uh, yeah, the next week in a bit is going to be pretty interesting in terms of content that I got going up on my channel. We got the Hawkeye DLC coming on the 18th. And also, Zack Snyder's Justice League dropping on March 18th. They've been releasing a couple of teasers, and uh, I'm really friggin' excited. I'm starting to get, like, all the hype is really starting to settle in for me. Uh, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to be making some videos on that. Nice. Uh, still got some streams planned, some Mortal Kombat 11 stuff planned that I'm looking forward to. You can check me out, youtube.com slash caboose, twitch.tv slash caboose, or check out all my shenanigans on social media, Twitter and Instagram at caboose EK. Awesome. Yeah, the Wonder Woman uh, trailer I saw, pretty cool. I can't wait to see all I've been staying stuff. away from everything past the uh, past the Batman one because I'm going to do like reactions for everything. Oh, so I'm, I'm waiting for them all to come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to check out uh, Caboose's YouTube channel for all the latest on uh, anything superhero. That's um, it. For myself, I'm actually going to be streaming in an hour on my channel in, um, in partnership with Xbox Canada. It's a, a nice. Nice. For International Women's Day. Hey. Um, I'm doing that. And then again at 8 o'clock tonight, I'm going to be joining the girls on TSN. Uh, we'll be streaming as well. Uh, Very cool. So celebrations with xbox canada so be sure to uh check out my uh twitch channel this is camco as well as social media all that stuff i'll be putting all those notifications there and then yeah of course i'll be here next week 
Monday. As always, discussing the latest, putting on the tinfoil hat and all of my weird quirks <laughs> that um, <laughs> annoy these guys too much. Uh, so be sure to check out Squad. Um, if you have any ideas for topics that you would like us to discuss, Squad State on Twitter. We look forward to seeing all of you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again. <laughs>